Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we're looking at Sun Lu's Red Wax Resin. But before we do that, roll those credits. Right, now a message from our sponsors, PCB Way. PCB Way are proud sponsors of the channel. They offer industry leading 3D printing services covering all types of materials and processes. They also offer industry leading online CNC machine services from milling, machining, and turning in all the materials you could possibly need. They also offer a fully online prototyping PCB service. Everything from assembly through to design, you can do it all online with an easy system to use for quality. So for all of your needs, check out PCB Way in the link in the video description. Right now, welcome back. Um, Sunlu have sent us some of their red wax resin. I've had real problems saying that the last few days and I've nailed it twice first time. Unbelievable. Now, um, straight off the bat, I'm gonna say, I absolutely love this resin for two reasons. One, the settings I used on this were just my normal Sun Lu settings. And it printed astonishingly well. The supports literally just fingertip pulled off hardly any marks left underneath the models and the quality it printed out i am astonished at second reason i love this is because when it comes off the printer you can see how good it looks usually we tend to buy whatever sunlu is selling the cheapest at the minute because we go through a lot of resin um, that could be gray could be black could be clear green but the problem with all three of them resins is you can't always see how good the detail is once it's cured. You have to prime it. Once you prime it, all the details pop. You can see how good it is. Well, with this resin, you don't have to. You can see everything as soon as it comes off the printer. It is astonishingly good resin. I am going to be speaking to Sun Lu because I want lots of this and I only want to use this resin going forward. I absolutely love it. Now, before we go any further, let's take a close up look at what was printed. Right, first off, we have got this guy, um, which is a, I believe a Fotis Mint bust. This is really cool. There is a lot of detail in this. And again, not primed. This is just how it come off the printer. And you can see, like you can even see, look at all his teeth in there. Like, I love this resin. I absolutely love it. So that's him. Then we've got a miniature here. Get it to focus there you go he's come out really well again so it's capable of doing the very small fine details they come out really well and then we have got Jean-Luc Picard now, me and James are both big Star Trek fans. And, obviously, Next Generation is the best, and Jean-Luc is the best captain. But, this is an Eastman sculpt. And, look at it, it really is Patrick Stewart. I really love this bust to the point I'm gonna, like, even his little bit of hair he's got at the back, um, to the point I'm gonna do this bigger 
and I'm gonna paint this because I love this bust. So as you can see, the details on this has come out amazing. I, I particularly like this Jean-Luc Picard. Love it. Now, everything on this printed perfect every time, apart from once. When I was doing some miniatures, I did this miniature and I did a second one, which was made up of three pieces, but was pre-supported. And the, it was done printed at the same time as this miniature, this miniature printed perfect in one piece, the pre-supported one just failed. I hate pre-supported models. Whenever I do anything pre-supported, if it's multi-parts, I guarantee not all the parts are printing or any of it print at all. I hate pre-supported models. James does a fair few pre-supported stuff and he doesn't have a problem with it. I hate pre-supported stuff. I'd rather just support it myself and I know it will print as with these miniatures. This one I supported myself. The one that was pre-supported didn't print. And I 100% blame that on the model. Because on the same build plate, that printed fine. And these, like this here, was printed in two pieces, the base and the bust. Took up the whole build plate. So it's not a build plate issue or a level issue. It's a pre-supported model issue, which I hate. Stop doing it. Let me just pre-support it myself. The model that I did had no unsupported version. It only had a supported version. Stop it. Let me support it the way I want to support it. Anyway, rant over. Um, moving forward, I, as I say, I only want to print in this. I only want to print in this. I love it. I think it's probably the nicest resin I've used to the point where I'm going to speak to some Luke because I want lots of it and I need to get a better deal on it because this is all I want to put on my printers from now on. Saying that, we know the channel has been pretty heavy on reviews lately. With channels like this, sometimes you go through an influx where you just get sent loads of stuff. And then there might be other times where you don't get sent much stuff and that's where we tend to do our models and paint and show you what we've done. Well, we know it's been heavy on reviews lately. It just so happens this is one of them periods where we just keep get, getting sent stuff. Not arguing, because we sent some amazing things. We're really lucky to be sent some of the stuff we sent. Um, but our channel, we've never wanted our channel to just be a review channel. We like doing the models, we like doing the painting, we like showing you what we've done. So, that being said, the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 is all but finished. It has taken so much of my life and so many months. I'm told it looks amazing. I hate it now because it's been taking me so long I'm at the point where I just want it finished because I hate it and I don't want to look at it. But when it lights up and stuff like that it, it, it looks cool. It looks cool. So that is going to be on here very, very soon. You're going to see that. The full video of the X01. We've got a few other things we're doing and we've got a few other things planned model wise that you're going to be seeing soonish. James has got his world's biggest kingpin and um, kingpin and daredevil diorama which is it's just so massive so massive that will be on here very soon is just doing the last bits of painting the daredevil then that is all done um, and we have got reviews of some amazing printers coming up we've had the magforms p13 we've got the nova wow we've got the cool seager and we've potentially got some other really cool machines arriving any day now so don't forget to like and subscribe Stay tuned because there's going to be some amazing videos coming out in the next couple of weeks. If you've used this red wax resin, let us know in the comments. Leave us some pictures of stuff you've done in it because I literally can't get enough of this and I just want more. So don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.